so in this diagram you can see that there is an isoquant curve which is denoted by p and there are various isocost lines that you can see which are highlighted in green Now the producer wants to produce a production of let's say 100 units and this level of output is shown by the isoquant curve P at all the combinations given by P that is a, B, C, D and E, all the combinations give me this level of output that is 100 units. However, the cost of producing 100 units at all these combinations is different. So, which combination of factors of production will the producer choose? Will he choose combination A or he should go with the combination B or C is better for him. He possibly might go with D or E. How does he choose? It is very simple. The producer starts with the highest ISO cost line. The highest ISO cost line is QQ1 wherein he can produce 100 units at the combination A. Likewise, the producer can produce 100 units at combination E. The whole curve P will give me 100 units of output. So on P, there are two points A and E. At both these points, he can produce 100 units. However, what changes is the amount of both the factors of production. The amount of factor Y is more at point A. The amount of factor Y is less at point E. Vice versa is the case with factor X. However, if the producer However, if the producer is a rational human being, he would try to be on a lower ISO cost line because the curve goes below the ISO cost line QQ1. At the ISO cost line NN1, he can see that he can produce the same amount of units. 100 units with the combination B. So shouldn't the producer go for B? In comparison to A and E, yes, the producer should go for B. Because the point B is on a lower ISO cost line. A lower ISO cost line will imply a lower cost of production. Same is the case with D. The combination D will give him 100 units with the same cost that is given by B because they are on the same ISO cost line N N1. So B and D are relatively better combinations than A and E. However, if the producer observes it closely, he can see that the isocon curve P goes below the ISO cost line NN1. It is going below it. 
that means there is a possibility of reducing the cost furthermore the isocon curve p touches the iso cost line m m1 at c so now the producer will go at the iso cost line m m1 to reduce his cost now please understand that at point c he is still able to produce 100 units the output remains the same because it is on the same iso con curve what changes here is the cost the cost of producing 100 units at the iso cost line m m1 is less than the cost of producing 100 units at the iso cost line n n1 and the iso cost line q q1 so he would always want to be at the iso cost line m m1 because m m1 gives him a lower cost of production giving him the same level of output a rational producer will always try to be at combination c now there are a couple of things that i will like to tell you the first is the producer will stop at combination c why is that because if he goes below the combination c that is if he chooses the iso cost line l l1 he might not be able to produce 100 units now because he wants to decrease his cost furthermore he'll have to sacrifice the level of output he cannot produce 100 units on the iso cost line l l1 so the producer will stop at the iso cost line m m1 wherein the iso quant curve p is tangent to the iso cost line you can see that the curve p is not cutting the iso cost line m m m m1 it is only tangent to it it is only touching it at point c and this point is known as producer's equilibrium this concept is similar to consumer's equilibrium where we had various indifference curves and a budget line placed on the axis and the consumer chose that level of goods that level of combination of goods which was within his budget which was not only within his budget but which maximize his satisfaction level in the same way the producer tries to produce the output at the minimum cost the consumer tries to get maximum level of satisfaction within his budget the producer tries to produce at a minimum cost and when he does that when he reaches the minimum cost it is called as producer's equilibrium now let's understand producer's equilibrium the characteristics and the properties isocont represent technical conditions of production they give you the technical condition they give you the proportion of the factors of production they give you the combination of the factors of production they are related with the conditions of production however the iso cost represents the level of cost we've already done these two points now what is the least cost least cost is the tangency point between the iso quant and the iso cost where the iso quant curve is tangent with the iso cost line we can say that 
the cost is least and this is the point of producers equilibrium where the cost is least or minimum